As a potential nuclear war with North Korea lingers dangerously on the horizon, the United States and South Korea have begun combined air force exercises known as Vigilant Ace. The drill consists of 230 aircraft and stealth fighters, making it one of the largest war games the two countries have ever participated in. But that's not all. Senator Lindsey Graham said yesterday it's time to move American military families out of South Korea and insists we are, quote, running out of time. Is a war with North Korea imminent, and is the U.S. properly prepared? Joining me now, former White House Security Council staffer and newly named Fox News correspondent, Jillian Turner is here. Congratulations Thank on your you. promotion. That was such a nice surprise. Yes, it's very exciting. I it. Well done. Thank you. All right, so let's talk a little bit about North Korea because uh, this is now for some good news. Yeah, this is making news on several different fronts. So, National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster came out this Saturday and basically said that we are on a very tight timeline, and every day, uh, unfortunately, we are marching closer to war. I don't like hearing those words. Inching closer. Yeah. Uh, but but you say that that's actually uh, wrangling us toward a diplomatic solution. That's what I suspect is going on behind the scenes here. I, yes, it's horrific to hear that we might be inching closer to war with a nuclear capable adversary. But I think when you when you kind of ratchet it down and return to the basics here, the Trump administration's policy towards North Korea has remained consistent from the campaign through today. It's not one of those areas that he's been all over the place yeah. on. He has said from day one that he wants to keep the military option on the table. He never wants nor the North to feel like the pressure is coming off. And I think that that's what's happening here. I really believe that part of what's what's going on is this is kind of a last ditch effort or a major push yeah. to get them to sit down at the negotiating table with us because that's something that president trump has said is a priority for him in recent weeks and it's something european allies have been really harping on him all about. right so like, what do we get out of it Merkel. what do they get out of it a if, negotiation. if we do in fact go back to a negotiating which i think i would be very supportive of that i think politically it's a tough it's going to be a tough thing for President Trump to do because he has so much leverage on criticizing President Obama for the nuclear negotiations with Iran. Yeah. He said that was something he never he would never have even sat down at the table with them. So why are you going to sit down at the table with North Korea? I don't know. But I would applaud them if they did that. Yeah. I think what has to happen is that this series of negotiations would have to be about more than just the nuclear issue. He'd have to take the North to task on some of their other egregious behavior in the international community. All right, so let's talk about Lindsey Graham. Does he know something we don't know, or is he being uh, prematurely hysterical by saying maybe we should get American families out of South Korea? He probably knows some stuff that, you know, us, the, the American public doesn't know, but I think he's also taking, if you take the president the president's words, H.R. McMaster's words, even Nikki Haley's words last week at face value, the situation does appear to have escal escalated. And I think part of the responsibility he feels as a senior senator is to say, OK, well, what about Americans in harm's way? Let's at least get let's get that out of the equation so we don't have to worry about it. It's not necessarily it's I don't think it's hysterical, yeah. but it's not necessarily we'll see if anyone follows through. If the State Department issues those orders, then they're taking him seriously and taking all of this very seriously. Or maybe he should president. wait until the State Department issues orders before making a statement like that. Because maybe that too. it can scare the living crap out of people it, yes. unnecessarily. Uh, hopefully it won't come to that. But I also understand uh, how politically damaging yeah. American casualties would be on the Korean Peninsula if you have innocent families who unfortunately yes it, my words that were escaping me came back when you used that word I think he it's not Lindsey Graham being hysterical is it the most responsible thing for him to have done yeah. probably not all right Jillian Turner well done newly minted and better than ever thanks Thank so much you.